Rip Curl Women's Pro, presented by Ford Fiesta, was highly anticipated. World champ Carissa Moore was looking to get back on top of the ratings, and an informed Steph Gilmore was ready to maintain her winning pace from the first ASP World Championship Tour event on the Gold Coast. And with names like Tyler Wright, Courtney Conlog, Coco Ho and Laura Enova, this contest had all the makings of a classic showdown. Here we can see Laura Enova, who's on a bit of a roll this year. I'm excited to be down here and it's it's always so nice to be at Bells. I mean, I started Snap with the second and I just wanted to come down here and try back that up. And I'm so happy with such a nice morning. We got really good waves, so yeah, I'm stoked. Just out there now, we have Tyler Wright in the red. I think Tyler Wright will meet her, you know, match her brother's uh, career last year. Critical yeah. turn in the lip, very aggressive surfing there from Tyler Wright. And yeah, that's the sort of stuff she's capable of. Lakey Peterson from Santa Barbara, California on her rookie year on tour does take the big win there and an upset taking out the four-time world champ Steph Gilmore. Sally Fitzgibbons, the uh, former champion of this event, took out this event last year, of course, up against Coco Ho. Here she goes. Coco's left that door open and Sally's gonna take full advantage. Bang. Big first turn as she drives hard off the bottom straight into another. Uh, really, really happy to be back out there at Bell's first round to get a couple of nines. Is uh, it's a great start. Still some things to work on and you know just work on like some finishes and that type of thing. But really happy with the way things went. Coco Ho just taking off here, driving off the bottom, climbs it up, nice little snap out of the top, sets up another big foam climb, wants a ride out of that one, and, and she, does. she does. Four times world champ now. This is dangerous. I was a little bit nervous, but I definitely, um, definitely didn't get the best waves, and I, I wasn't sort of having the best uh, scores, but I got through, so it's all good. And Tyler Wright. Oh, takes oh. off late. What's she going to do? The winner of this goes straight to the quarterfinal. Second, third, of course, go into round four, the next elimination round. You'd really want to win this one if you can. Tyler Wright. Drawing first blood, Malia Manuel. And uh, from Kauai, huge big turn. And uh, what a great start to her heat. Another turn in the lip. This is a great looking wave here for Malia. And a She's little loving life snap out there. Under the lip. a better looking wave here for Steph. Hooks it up into the lip, driving, oh, carving oh, oh. off the lip. Look at the score. Not every day you see a perfect 10. First wave of quarterfinal number one. It is Tyler Wright. Oh, these conditions are going to suit Tyler perfectly. Really strong surfer. Big cut back here. She needs a five, folks. Keep that in your mind. 30 seconds to go. She's gonna get another chance here. Bang! Up in the yeah, ah, that's done it for sure. Finish it. She is breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> she could just hang out there. She's got priority and stop pretty much Chris and Moore from getting that 8.11. So she's gonna stick like. Blue. There isn't anything left out the back for Carissa. Sally is victorious. The women's final was testament to two strong-willed and talented surfers. Both Steph Gilmore and Sally Fitzgibbons had won here before. As the waves continued to pump, Steph and Sal paddled out to determine whose name would be added to the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach Trophy. Steph Gilmore now up and riding in the red. And she wants to make the oh, most of it. Oh, oh my, my goodness no. me. It was a great wave. What happened there? A big opportunity for a good looking wave here for Sally Fitzgibbons. Wants to make the most of it. And just cutting back. Little jam turn there. Hooks it up in the lift. Oh, and again falls oh, yeah. off. You know, they've both had good waves and then they've fallen off on critical turns. You know, I think Steph just had a wave that was like potentially a nine. And, and she slipped. And then Sal just had one. 
and fell as well. So it's, uh, I think, a little bit of nerves going on, or maybe someone slept their boards up or something. Look, we just have to wait and see. Girls usually throws up something, and uh, both girls are really experienced. Best girl to win. Oh. Sally, looking like a, one of the bigger rides of the final. A nice carving putty there for Sal. Straight back into the pocket. Very good at the judging criteria. Nice little carve there as well. A nice little, little oh, bit of a tail away, slide yeah. even there for, Sta for Sal. And there you go, Steph Gilmore up and riding. Crucial wave, drives it off into the top. Needs to ride this one all the way through. She hooks it up, goes to the big Man. turn in the lip and lands it. And oh, just, whoa, the backwash smashes it down. You'd have to say that Steph will be reliving that wave that she slipped off oh, over oh, and she, over she and over again. Because that was, that was the best, the wave, best wave, the wave and the winning wave of the heat. Your winner today, back-to-back -back Sal, two bells on the trot, Sally Fitzgibbons.